Hey everyone, my name is Will and I make cool stuff in Apple Keynote. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. So I've never really talked about this, but what my main job is, is that I teach AP World History. And the AP exams are very different this year. And so I decided to put this video together to like show people, as many students as possible, put it out there in the internet, how to like log in and take your AP exam. So I won't be talking about Apple Keynote today. So if you're not interested in AP exams, you can go ahead and click off the video. In the next one, I'll be back talking about Apple Keynote and things. But if you're here because you're interested in the AP exams for 2020, stick around, I'll show you everything you need to do. So in this video, I'm gonna be covering four topics. When are the exams? How to log into the exams? how to complete a response to the exam, and then how to submit your response to the exam. So let's jump into topic number one, when are the exams? In case you don't already know when your exam is, here's all the dates and times, pause the video if you need to. So for example, I teach AP World History in California, which is Pacific Standard Time. So my students will take the AP World History test on May 21st at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It can be kind of a tricky chart, but just do your best to try and figure out where you live and what time and day your AP exam is. So topic number two, how do you log in to take the exam on the day of your exam? It's pretty simple, your email. You're gonna get an email from College Board two days before your scheduled AP exam, and it's going to have an e-ticket. That e-ticket looks like this. The e-ticket has your AP ID number on it. It should have your name on it. It has a yellow button that says go to exam. So a big, huge thing is to make sure that you can access the email that's connected to your College Board account and that you can log into it and that there's no problems. You need to be able to access it and you need to make sure that College Board emails aren't just going to the spam where you might lose that e-ticket. That e-ticket is very, very valuable. It's specific to you. They are not transferable. So when you get that e-ticket, don't lose it. Also, don't show anybody else because it may ruin you being able to get into your AP exam. And if you're taking multiple AP exams, guess what? You're going to get multiple e-tickets specific to your each exams. If you're taking multiple AP exams, you gotta keep track of those things, don't lose those things. On the day of the exam, make sure you use the right e-ticket to get into your correct exam. It's gonna take some organization, but you're an AP student, you're smart, you got this. All right, so you're gonna get that email two days before. So let's say it's the day of the exam. What do you need to do? Well, 30 minutes before your exam is scheduled to start, you need to go to your email, you need to click the yellow button, go to exam, and it's gonna take you into their system. So you need to do this 30 minutes before the exam starts, and I'll explain why in the next step. All right, so before we go into step three, I have to put a disclaimer out there. What I'm about to say does not apply to world languages and music theory. If you're taking an AP world language, such as AP Spanish, or if you're taking uh, AP music theory, what I'm about to describe does not apply to you. You have a different way of doing this, which I'm not going to cover in this video, but for every other AP exam, whether it's AP social studies, AP language arts, AP math, AP science, what I'm about to describe to you is what you're going to do. So topic number three, how do you complete a response? So on the day of your exam, you're gonna click that email, in your e-ticket, go to exam, it takes you into their system, do this 30 minutes before the scheduled time of your exam, you're gonna be in their system. Once you're in their system, you'll be looking at a browser. If you're using your Google Chromebook, then you'll be using Google Chrome. But if you're using another computer, it's whatever web browser you'll be using. So essentially what you're going to do is you're going to look at the question in the browser. You're going to complete your response outside the browser in either Microsoft Word, Google Docs, or even on paper. So once you log into the first page, the very first thing they're gonna ask is your first name, your last name, your date of birth, the location that you are taking this exam, and you just need to fill that out real quick. You need to click the agree to terms and conditions, and then click continue. After clicking continue, you'll basically be in a waiting room. You'll see a little timer that is counting down the time until your exam actually starts. So Good news, once you reach there, you know you're safe. You're in the exam, they've identified who you are. All you gotta do is just patiently wait until your exam starts. So when that timer gets to zero in the waiting room, the page will automatically refresh, your question will be presented right in front of you, super obviously, and they will start a new timer that will start counting down and you have just that much time to complete your response to the question. So get to work. So the biggest, most important thing you're going to need to do as you're making your response to the exam is you're gonna to need to put your AP ID number and your initials, the first letter of your first name and the first letter of your last name at the top of the page of your response. All right, so last topic, 
When you're done, how do you actually submit your response? Well, there's multiple ways to do this. So on the same page that your question is, you'll notice at the bottom left of the screen, there are two buttons. One of them says attach a response, the other one says paste a response. So I'm gonna talk about attach a response first. If you click attach a response, it's gonna take you to a page. At the top of that page, there will be two options, attach a text file or attach photos. You're gonna select which one of those you're going to do. You're going to scroll down to the bottom and then there's a button that says browse for file. So you're gonna click browse for files, select your file or photos, and then click the yellow submit button and then you're done. So let's backtrack. Let's say you don't want to attach, you want to just copy paste. This is how you're going to copy paste. So you're gonna click paste a response. It'll take you to a page and there will be a blank. Now that blank, you cannot type into it. So don't try to type your response into it. It only accepts paste. So you're then gonna go back to your document. You're going to highlight all of your response. You're going to copy it, come back to the browser, paste it in that blank, and then hit the yellow submit button. If you somehow mess up the paste, you can hit the button clear field and it will erase everything that's in the box and you can paste it again to make sure all of your response is in the box. If you wanna practice any of this on your own, you can go to this website and you have unlimited attempts to just practice logging in, filling out the information and playing with the upload system. You can't actually submit a real response, but it gives you the simulation and you have unlimited chances. So I highly recommend you go there, practice logging in so on the day of the exam, it runs like super smoothly. So we've covered when the exams are, how to log in, how to complete a response, and then how to submit a response. If you have any further questions at all, please talk to your AP teacher or talk to an administrator. Above all guys, good luck on your AP exams. I wish you the best. Have a great day.